Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to do the prediction for the new data set in Support Vector Machine in NIME. Support Vector Machine is a powerful and widely used machine learning algorithm that is used for both classification and regression problem. SVM is a discriminative algorithm that separates the data points into different classes by constructing a hyperplane or a set of hyperplanes in a high dimensional space. Support Vector Machine works by finding the optimal hyperplane that maximizes the margin between the two classes with the margin being the distance between the hyperplane and the closest data points from each class. So you can see the closest data points in each class. There are two classes represented by plus and minus. We will pick up the closest data points plus and minus and we will try to pass a plane which can separate both the classes and this is known as separating hyperplane. The distance is known as margin and the points used for separations are known as support vectors. After running the support vector machine algorithm, it is necessary that we assess the accuracy score of the model. For this, we will be using the confusion matrix. This I have already explained in my previous video. Kindly refer the interpretation of the confusion matrix. Now, how to do the prediction in the near of the new data set? Let's say in nine. So, first of all, I'll activate input output from here. I'll double click on it. Browse the data set, which is in CSV format. Part 1, open, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. So we want to do the classification of heart disease on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise. I'll activate the column filter from here. This is necessary because we only want to select those variables which we'll be considering in our model. So transfer age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, and heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it, you can see the filtered table. Now you can activate the partitioning. That is, we want to partition the data into training and testing data set. Configure, activate this as 80% is used for training training. Make it certified sampling and remaining 20% is used for testing. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now activate the SVM learner from here. Configure. Make sure that the heart disease is your target variable. Don't change the default settings. These settings are for kernels. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now you can right click on it and see the SVM view. Support vector machine does not create any equation just like linear regression or logistic regression. So now we'll activate the SVM predictor from here. This predictor will get its learning from this node and it will get the data set from the previous partitioning node. So remaining 20% data will enter into the predictor. Right click on it and configure. We are going to create a new column with the name prediction hard disease. And we also want the probabilities for this. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and you can see the classification. So this is a prediction which has been done according to the algorithm. And this is the original data set. So we want to check how well our model is able to predict. So for this, we are activating scorer. I request all my viewers to kindly refer the previous video to understand all the concepts of SVM. Kindly refer my playlist. Go in configure, activate the hard disease from here. Second column prediction hard disease should be on. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So the classification accuracy which we have achieved is 71% which is considered to be very moderate. Now we want to do, we want to predict for the new data set. So how we can do it? Again activate the input output from here, CSV reader, double click on it, browse the data set.
now we are we will attach the new data set part one test open okay right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the file table so these are nine these are ten observe ten observations complete fresh data set this is I'll activate again the column filter or it is better that you co copy this only so that you can copy the settings also control v right click on it and execute again right click on it you can you can see the filter table yeah it's the same thing now again activate svm predictor this predictor Will get its data from the new data set but from where it will get its learning it will get its learning from here right click on it and configure again tick mark on change production column name and append column with the normalized class distribution click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and you can see the classification which has been done so this is the original data set and this is the prediction done according to the algorithm. Now we want to check that how well the prediction is. So again I will activate the scorer from here or simply I will copy the node from here. Copying the node has an advantage that all the settings are also copied. I will connect this. Configure. So it's okay. I will click on it and execute. Uh, view the confusion matrix. So, for the new data set, the correct classification is done here 4 and here 4 plus 5. 5 are correctly classified cases and wrongly are 2 plus 3. So, wrongly classified cases are so classification accuracy has drastically gone down. Anyway, this is a way you can do the prediction for a new data set in 9. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.